Welcome to our online class. This is Ma'am Teresa Tubal. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to learn about the geometric mean? Let's go! Instruction, identify the first term, number of terms, and the common ratio. Question number one, identify the first term, the number of terms, and common ratio in the given geometric sequence 1, 3, 9, and 27. What is the answer? Correct. The first term is 1, the number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, and the common ratio is by means of dividing second term divided by the first term. So 3 divided by 1, the answer is equal to 3. Question number 2. Find the first term, the number of terms, and the common ratio in the given geometric sequence 1, 6, 36, and 216. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The first term is 1. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. N is 4. And the common ratio is 6 divided by 1. The answer is equal to 6. Question number 3. Find the first term, the number of terms, and the common ratio in the geometric sequence 2, 10, 50, and 250. What is the answer? Correct. The first term is 2. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. N is 4. The common ratio is by means of dividing the second term divided by the first term. So 10 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 5. Question number 4. Find the first term again, the number of terms, and the common ratio in the given geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, and 54. What is the answer? Yes. The first term is 2. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the common ratio is equal to 3. Why? 6 divided by 2 is 3. Question number 5. Find the first term, the number of terms, and the common ratio. So, in the given geometric sequence, 2, 8, 32, and 128. Correct. The first term is 2. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the common ratio is 8 divided by 2. The answer is equal to 4. What is geometric mean? The terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. Example of the geometric mean is 3, 6, 12, 24, and 42. The extremes are 3 and 42, and the means are 6, 12, and 24. Formula to be used is same with the formula for the geometric sequence. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. a sub n denotes last term. a sub 1 is first term. r is the common ratio. n is the number of terms. Let us familiarize about the geometric mean. Let's go. Question number one. Give the geometric mean between 11 and 44. The first term is 11. The last term is 44. The number of terms is 1, 2, and 3. Let us identify the common ratio. So what is the solution? The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We need to replace all the value to the given formula. So that becomes a sub n is 44, a sub 1 is 11, and then r, the value of n is equal to 3, so 3 minus 1. Subtract the exponent, so 3 minus 1, the answer is equal to 2. So copy 44, copy 11, copy r, and then 3 minus 1, that is equal to 2. 
to solve 4R squared, divide both sides with 11. So, 44 divided by 11 is 4. 11 divided by 11 is equal to 1R squared. To solve 4R, we need to square both sides. So, square root of 4 is equal to square root of R squared. So, the value of R is equal to 4 because the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So, let us solve. 11 times 2, the answer is equal to 22. So, the geometric mean between 11 and 44, the answer is equal to 22. Question number 2. Insert two geometric means between 3 and 81. The first term is 3. The end term or the last term is 81. And the number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. So n is equal to 4. Let us identify the common ratio. So the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Again, substitute all the given to the formula. So that becomes a sub n is 81. a sub 1 is 3 times r. The number of terms is 4 minus 1. Subtract the exponent so that becomes 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. The rest, copy. To solve for r cubed, divide both sides with positive 3. So if we divide both sides with positive 3, 81 divided by 3 is 27. 3 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 1. To solve for r, write the cube root on both sides. So that becomes cube root of 27 is equal to cube root of r cubed. So the value of r is equal to 3 because 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. If the value of r is equal to 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. So it means the two geometric means between 3 and 81 is 9 and 27. Question number 3. If the third term of the geometric sequence is 9 and the sixth term is negative 243, write the six terms of the geometric sequence. So the third term is 9. The sixth term is negative 243, as you can see in the diagram. But this time, to solve for the common ratio, this becomes the first term. First term is 9. The last term is negative 243. And the number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. So n is equal to 4. From 9 up to negative 243 is 4 terms. What is the formula? a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We need to substitute all the given to the formula. So this become a sub n is negative 243. a sub 1 is 9 times r. The number of terms is 4 minus 1. Subtract the exponent so that becomes negative 243 equals 9 times r raised to the third power. To solve for r cubed, divide both sides with 9. So this becomes negative 243 divided by 9 equals 9 r cubed divided by 9. Divide negative 243 divided by 9, the answer is equal to negative 27. 9 divided by 9, that is equal to 1 r cubed. To solve for r, like, write the cube root on both sides. Cube root of negative 27 equals cube root of r cubed. So the value of r is equal to negative 3 because cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So the common ratio is equal to negative 3. If r is equal to negative 3, the third term is 9. The sixth term is negative 243. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Negative 27 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive 81. How about going to left? So we need to divide. So 9 divided by negative 3. The answer is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3. That is equal to 1. If left going to right, let us check. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 
negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So, uh, the first six terms of this sequence is 1, negative 3, 9, negative 27, 81, and negative 243. How to play? Answer 5 multiple choice questions in a row correctly to win. Let us continue. Question number 1. In the sequence 4, negative 8, 16, negative 32, 64. What are the extremes? A, negative 8 and negative 32. B, 4 and negative 32, C, 4 and 64, and D, negative 8 and 64. Correct! The answer is letter C, that is 4 and 64. Complete the sequence 1, blank 9, blank 81. What is the answer in the blank? A, 3 and 27, B, 5 and 27, C, 8 and 64, and D, 8 and 27. Correct! The answer is A, that is 3 and 27. Question number 3. Calculate the geometric mean between 4 and 16. A, 10, B, 8, C, 9, D, equals 6. Correct. The answer is letter B that is equal to 8. Question number 4. Insert two geometric means between 1 and 125. A, 4 and 64. B, 6 and 36. C, 7 and 49. And D, 5 and 25. Correct. The answer is equal to letter D that is 5 and 25. Question number 5. Insert two geometric means between 11 and 88. What is the second mean? A22, B44, C33, D55. Correct. The answer is equal to 44. What you have learned? What is geometric mean? The terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. Example of the geometric mean is 3, 6, 12, 24, and 42. The extremes are 3 and 42, and the means are 6, 12, and 24. Formula to be used is same with the formula for the geometric sequence. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. A sub n is the last term, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. I hope you learned something new about the geometric mean. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.